How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video for you guys and we are going to be flashing Evolution X 11.0 for the Google Pixel 6. Um, so whatever platform you're watching this on, uh, please do hit the thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. But um, yeah, so as you guys can see here, this is the website evolution-x.org and you're going to search for the device that they support. The Pixel 6 is supported and the 11.0 uh, version is based on Android 16. Now, I do know that the Pixel 6 does have stock Android 16 already available for it, uh, but I like the levels of customizations that Evolution X has and I like to play around with custom ROMs, so I'm going to go ahead and do it on my Pixel 6. Um, so this is what you will need. You'll see here, you'll have the how to install. You'll have the channel logs uh, for you know the ROM build, and then you'll have download ROM, which is what you're going to click here. Um, you can see the file size is about 2.42 gigabytes in size. Um, and this was released on the 24th of July. So not that long ago, about six days ago, uh, this came out. But they also have... They also have an Android 15 version, which the last version for the Android 15 version was 10.7 and that released out in June 11th of 2025. So they have since moved on. They are now developing for Android 16. Uh, when you do click download ROM, you're going to be presented with several files you need to download. Uh, so it looks like that the ROM has downloaded already. So I'm going to go ahead and download the boot image and get that, uh, get that downloaded. So it's going to prepare that. And um, once you have all these, you're going to need to um, basically flash these little by little. So you'll need the DTBO and the vendor underscore boot. So let me download these. And then you guys will also see like the necessary steps on your phone to unlocking, uh, unlocking the bootloader. So I'll show you guys all that stuff here in a little bit. All right, so once you have all those files pretty much downloaded onto your PC, uh, here are some things that you will definitely need. One, um, and this is just the way that I have it set up, but I do have Android Studios installed on my PC uh, for drivers and everything. And then the second thing that you need to have installed on your PC is this right here called Platform Tools. So you will need Platform Tools um because this is where you're going to drop those files that we downloaded so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go to the downloads and these are the, the files that i downloaded so i'm going to take those and i'm just going to drop them onto the desktop so they're out of the way and then go back to my platform tools and this is a little trick that i like to do um so i will rename this rom uh i'll call it ex 11 p6 very easy and you'll see why but you can grab all of these um all these files and you want to drop them into your platform tools folder so now that this is here what we're going to do now is we're going to um unlock the bootloader on the pixel 6. so in order to do that uh what you'll need to do basically is go into your settings scroll down and you're going to um, find about phone go in there and scroll all the way down to build number and you're going to tap on that until it says you know to enter your uh lock, your lock screen code so whatever you set as your lock screen or your password uh once you have that it should tell you that you are a developer so once it says you're a developer go one step back and then go into systems scroll down and you'll see developer options and what you want to do here is you want to find oem unlock and toggle that on it's going to ask you to put in your password or pin so do that again and then it's going to give you that message to allow oem unlocking hit enable and that will turn on and then you go to usb usb debugging and turn that on those are two things that you need to turn on in order to be able to flash this ROM. So if for any reason the OEM unlock is grayed out and it doesn't let you toggle it on, double check and make sure that your Pixel 6 is not a Verizon variant because if it is one that was sold through Verizon, the bootloader is locked on those and there's nothing that can be done. They will not unlock the bootloader. There's no way to get around it. People have a bounty to try to get 
the bootloader unlocked on these devices from Verizon. So, uh, but if yours was direct from Google, you should be able to do this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the bootloader completely unlocked. And so, yeah, what you want to do is plug in your device to your PC and USB debugging is gonna show up there. Just set your phone down. And then um, what you'll wanna do is open up, you know, terminal or PowerShell. So I will hold shift and right click, or yeah, right click. And then right here, it says open PowerShell window here. So we'll do that. You have to do it within the platform uh, tools folder. So like, for example, if I hit shift and right click on here, um, it'll open a PowerShell window over here. But this, as you see, it says desktop. So you don't want that. Um, so anyways, this is our platform tools. And uh, one of the things that I do like to do is just double check that we are connected to ADB. So what I'll do is I'll type in that command. The command for my PowerShell is basically the, um, the period key and uh, backslash. So I'll hit period key backslash, type in ADB space devices. And once I do that, um, it says that it's not running. So it's not running because this window popped up. You want to hit always allow on your device and then hit allow. And then now we'll do it again. So ADB devices. And now you should see that you should see the serial number. Now know this before you go a step further, this is going to wipe your entire phone. Okay. It's going to wipe everything. So before you go forward with this back up all your info, but once you're ready to go and you've already established connection with Android device bridge, then you're going to want to type in dot. Well, you don't have to follow this part specifically. This is for my PowerShell. If you open up, you know, a uh, command terminal, it, it'll be different. At, at least the beginning will be so, but I'll put dot uh, backslash ADB space reboot uh, bootloader. So we'll ADB reboot, well, ADB space reboot space bootloader. Let me just be a little technical there. And you should see on your devices should be rebooting. So you hear a chime, but you know, and now when you see this, this means that you are in the bootloader and you'll see down there, it says, uh, locked as device status or device state is locked, but in red, it says unlockable. That means you can unlock the bootloader. So now from here, the command changes. So now I hit dot backslash fast boot devices and this is just to check that we have a good connection you can see the serial number of the device so now the next command is dot backslash fast boot um let's see flashing so fast boot space flashing unlock i believe is the command let's find out yep it is so it says finished uh, and what that means is, is that it gave it permission to unlock, go back to your device and on your screen, you'll see, uh, do not unlock bootloader, use the volume rockers to select. So you'll, you'll, uh, toggle either up or down. So it says unlock the bootloader, then press the power button. And that is how you unlock the bootloader. Okay. So at this point, your device is already rebooted. So once it's rebooted, go in through the initial setup process, skip through everything. Okay. Um, unless it's a FRP locked and that means a factory reset locked, then you would have to sign back into your Google account. But, uh, if not just skip through the entire setup process, because you're just going to go back and open up developer options. So that's what we're going to do now. So again, same step, go into settings, go down, find about phone, scroll down. Tap the build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. Go one step back and then go up to system and scroll down to developer options. And the reason why you have to do that is because now that your bootloader is unlocked and it factory resetted the phone, you have to engage allow USB debugging. So once that's done, 
um, then we'll go ahead and we'll go through flashing all the system images. So we'll reconnect our USB cable and it's gonna ask you to allow USB debugging again. Just click always allow and then hit allow again. And then we're gonna go back to our terminal. So this is where all our files are at this point. So from here, I'll go back in and I'll do the same steps. I'm getting notifications, so I apologize, but um, I'll type in and make sure that ADB is connected again. So ADB devices shows the serial number. That's good. So now we'll do the same command again. ADB space reboot space bootloader. And we'll hit enter. And now it's going to reboot the phone. So this is where it's going to get into the whole process of flashing uh, the recovery onto device. So now what we'll do is we'll hit uh, fast boot devices and everything's good there. So we're going to go in the order. If you want to know how to flash uh, each one. Um, so I'll bring this up here. And this is the order you want to go in. So you want to go with the boot image first, then DTBO image, and then vendor underscore boot image. You want to flash these three first, and then follow the rest of the commands. Reboot to recovery, wipe and format the data on the device in recovery, go back, hit apply update from ADB, then click sideload, and then sideload the ROM, which you guys will see here in a second. But So let's go ahead and go back to the terminal here. So... Um, the command that you're going to use you can copy paste it but i pretty much like memorized them so we do fast boot fast boot flash boot space boot dot image now the thing about this is the reason why it says it twice right flash boot then boot image you're telling it what you want to do which is flash and you're what sector you want to flash, which is the boot image area, and then the file name, which is boot.image. So once you have that typed out, hit enter, and you should see where it says sending the boot B, and then writing the boot A, and it gives you the times. So when you see the times, you know that it works. So then the next step is the DTBO, okay? So um, with that, it's this one we're doing here. So DTBO, DTBO image, and I'll just, copy this because you can do this if you feel, don't feel like um, typing out all those commands then from right here you will just type that well I'll type my initial setup but then I'll just paste it in fast boot flash dtbo dtbo dot image hit enter that's the second step so third step we'll grab this one fast boot flash vendor underscore vendor underscore boot and then the file itself so we'll copy that go back to terminal i said if you use a regular terminal on your pc then you don't have to do this dot backslash but i do so there we go boom that is done now the last command for this is uh fast boot reboot recovery hit okay now you see on your device your device is going into recovery um so it'll reboot itself and then you'll see that warning comes up that screen will always be on now that your bootloader is unlocked so this is the recovery so from here on your device first thing you want to do is just go down to factory reset hit that format data factory reset select that and then format data and let it do its thing and it should look like that once that's done i mean it is the recovery is touch responsive so you go back to the main menu and hit apply update and then apply update from adb and you'll hear a little chime on your pc once you're there, go back to your terminal, and now we're gonna do an ADB check. So ADB devices, and now when you look at it, next to the serial number, it should say sideload. 
So this is why it's important here because now you're gonna type ADB side load and then the name of the ROM file, which I renamed it as exp6e. Hold on, Let me make sure I do this right. So the ROM file's name, just to double check, is ex11p6. See, this is why you gotta be careful. So ex11p6.zip, since it's a zip file. Everything looks good, ex11. Six, we're good, ADB side load, and this is where it gets pretty long, but I will fast forward through all of this for you guys. All right, so at this point, we're getting to where it says 47%. That does not mean that only 47% of the ROM has been flashed. It's pretty much on there, but your screen on your device will show this, and I'll tell you, um, you know, if you want to install any other packages, um, you'll need to reboot the recovery. So it's gonna ask you, do you wanna reboot? But we're not doing anything else. So I'm just gonna choose no. And then that's pretty much done. Then from the device itself, we're gonna reboot system. And so from here at this point, we're really just going to let it boot up. So we can actually safely disconnect our cable from the PC and just let it do its thing. So we got the Evolution X splash screen happening. So that's going on right now. And we'll just wait until it boots up. Once it boots up, you just do the everyday thing that you do when you set up a new Android device. Go through the setup process, sign into your Google account, um, all that good stuff. So majority of things works with this ROM. I flashed this ROM on my Pixel 8a and everything is working fine on there. The only thing that is kind of sacrificed is RCS messaging from Google Messages. Um, I believe they're working on a fix for that, but most people initially, they tend to use things like, you know, Instagram chat, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, so. Anyways, we're greeted at the home screen. When you're here, it means that you have successfully flashed the ROM. So hopefully this helps out people out there that wanted to install Evolution X on their Pixel 6. And majority of the steps is pretty much similar for other Pixel devices like the 7, the 7A, the, the 6 Pro, 7 Pro, the 8 series. It's pretty much the same. It's just, you have to download the different, um, the different ROM files. So. You know, with that, and what I mean by that is you will see a device list and every device list has its own set of files to download to flash on the device. So always go to your particular model. And no, pixels are not the only ones that you can flash this on. You can do this on the, uh, you know, the Xiaomi phones. You can do this on, I believe some Motorola's like the G9, uh, the E7. Um, you could do this on some OnePlus devices. And even the Nothing Phone 1 and Nothing Phone 2 have Evolution X custom ROMs for them. But that's for a future video uh, for me to discuss. So thanks for checking out this video. Appreciate you guys. And I will follow up with a After Flash review in a few days.